two beautiful fluids to create a lovely bronze with a hint of colour on your cheeks. Now, why would you choose to use a fluid over a powder? Well, if you want to use a fluid, it's great if you've got dry skin, for starters. Sometimes people avoid using bronzer because they feel that it enhances the dryness to their skin, so they kind of just don't bother. Using a liquid avoids that completely. You might be one of those very, very blessed people who has beautiful translucent skin and you want to add warmth to your complexion but you don't want it to look particularly like makeup. So again, using a fluid gives a very natural, natural finish to your makeup, especially if you're just using that and nothing else. So the first product I want to show you is by Daniel Sandler. Now you might be familiar with Daniel's range. Um, he is a makeup artist, I've known him for many years and he's a lovely, lovely chap. Now these watercolours, they come in a whole spectrum of colours, are quite cult products now. And I love this one, Hot Totty, um, because obviously it gives that lovely kind of soft tanned finish to the skin, but it's so, so sheer. So I'm going to do that one first and then I'm going to use the Pericone MD. Now Pericone is a brand that creates a very kind of like barely there, high premium finish rain products that um, have like, the no foundation foundation, no concealer concealer. So again, if you're one of those people that just likes a real soft touch to your makeup, then investigate the brand because it's a really, really lovely range. So first of all, I've just used the Bare Minerals Tan Complexion Rescue. I love this gel cream it's really really lovely on the skin feels very very fresh so shake to make sure that all the pigment is well dispersed and I personally prefer to use the watercolors just on the back of my hand here I'm going to be using one of my um, 014 Zoeva brushes really really push the product into the brush first you get a nice even application start under your cheekbones and then blend the colour around your jawline, the hairline, move your hair back if you've got blonde hair and you can see how it just gives you this instant gorgeous suntan. Now beware because obviously we're really creating a lovely sun kiss glow on our face. Don't forget to bring it down your neck otherwise it will just look really grubby and orangey on your skin. So just blend the product well into your skin Using a brush like this actually, again, is quite nice, it's almost like a facial massage. And you can use the edge of the brush just to really go in and just carve a little bit of tan just into your sockets, which opens out the eyes as well. It's a very kind of lovely, soft, bronze look. Right, so I think what I'm going to do is, before I put on the blush, I'm going to use a little bit of my Charlotte Tilbury Retoucher just to add a little bit of light just back under my eyes. It's always nice to have just that lightness, almost like a triangle from the outer corner of your eye to your nose, to the inner corner of your eye. Just this area here, just to lift and blend in with the tan. And I think that just gives a nice sort of subtle shape. I can't tell you how light it feels. It feels like I've just got, well, I've got nothing on my skin. Right, so I do look very brown, I love it. I love being brown. Right, so now we're going to go in with the no blush blush. So it's got a little applicator again, just dab it off there, and it's this beautiful, lovely, soft, baby pink. So I just do my little Aunt Sally cheeks, and just very gently, just really push that colour into my skin. Now you can see that I've got a few freckles, and I've got an area of pigmentation here, just on my cheek. So I don't mind that. I like the translucency of these colours, so it just looks really natural, like it is a natural flush to the skin. I love that, okay. I'm just gonna put a little bit of this on my lips, actually. I was gonna use a, a nice caramel gloss, but I think I'm gonna use this on my lips. I love matching those two together. Great. So considering to how pale I looked at the beginning of this video, I've got a lovely, natural, sun-kissed glow to my skin. Give it a try.